Lois again, and I'm over here at Memorial City at the corner of Gessner Road and Interstate 10, which is just west of downtown. And I'm looking at this huge expansion of cement, all this rapid growth with tons and tons of cement without any detention ponds. This is a crime because as soon as they started digging here, hundreds, about six months later, no detention ponds like Walter P. Moore advised them to do that they paid this engineering firm to do studies of them for what they should do before they start building, um, advised them to put in four detention ponds. They did not listen, threw it away, put it in the trash, and guess what today we have? Homes all around here flooding north and south of I-10 in a big rainstorm because the commercial developers have skipped out of doing the required city ordinance detention ponds that are um, under the drainage laws that are governed by public works and engineering, autocratic control, the people, the council members cannot vote on the drainage laws, which needs to be changed, the people in the council can change that, but the mayor has to put it on the agenda for vote. Look at all this tremendous expansion of cement. As far as the eye can see, up and down I-10, north and south of the interstate, not one detention pond. And this is one of the problems in uh, urban areas where they're redeveloping older neighborhoods like this without putting in required de or detention ponds. Walter P. Moore, a noted engineering firm in Houston, Texas, advises that detention ponds are in, the long, in the long run are the most economical and efficient ways, is the most economical and efficient way to um, handle rain runoff, displaced water. Over here on the northwest corner of this intersection at I-10 and Gessner, there's a big field and they're going to uh, try to say that they don't have to put in a com uh, detention pond there because they're going to say it was previously impervious, which we know we can see a lot of grass there. It, was, it is not impervious. That means uh, it has a lot of grass on it where the rain can get soaked up and not be displaced into people's homes. Can you imagine this? Look at this tremendous expansion everywhere you look. you've got to put in a detention pond and remove all of the loopholes and grandfathering clauses, period. Thank you very much. Hoping for a better Houston tomorrow and cities across America.